Hey, what is up, YouTube? In this video, I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be reviewing the Cooler Master MM731, and it's not going to be really a positive review, as you guys will clearly figure out. But anyway, let's just get right into it. So, let me talk about the build quality, just the general stuff about the mouse first. So, this mouse is uh, it's a lightweight ergo wireless mouse, and uh, you might be out, you might be wondering why. A wireless mouse. I'm using a wireless mouse in wired mode, but uh, I will explain that later. Um, but let's just get into the build quality and the, the tangible stuff first before we start talking about the actual functionality, which unfortunately Cool Master has completely dropped the ball on. But anyway, let's get right into it. So the MM731, it's a, um, it's pretty well built. Uh, my copy, at least, is which is a surprise. There's not any flexing. No creaking um, at all, really. the The bottom is honeycomb, I think, covered by a sticker, but it's it's pretty pretty solid. the The buttons are, I think, apparently they're like LK Opticals. They're pretty good in my opinion. They're honestly roughly on par with the Viper Mini clicks, which are pretty good. I have zero complaints with these clicks. Um, the scroll wheel is good. It's tactile. It's a little bit, I don't know, it's it's a fine scroll wheel, it gets the job done. The middle click is, is good, um, it's well tensioned and it feels solid. These side buttons are not the greatest, uh, at least the back button. Uh, the front button is nice and clicky and it's uh, pretty light, but there's a little bit of a uh, little bit of wobbling, or like creaking when you press it, but it's, I mean, it's not a big deal. Like, these side buttons are fine in my opinion. And the feet, the feet are great. They're, they're pretty smooth, they glide pretty well. I have no complaints with them. Uh, I think they could be a little bit thicker, but you know, it's it's fine. Um, what else should I talk about? Uh, the cable, the cable is really good actually. You know, for a, I mean, this is obviously a wired mouse, but for for a cable, like a, this is a really good cable. I prefer it to, I actually, it's about on par with the, uh, the S2, S2 cable, if not a little bit better. S2C cable rather. Um, so yeah, with that all, all out of the way, let me talk quickly about the shape because I think the shape is kind of important and it's one of the reasons why I think this mouse should be considered down the road once Cooler Master fixes the issues with it. But for now, I, I can't recommend this mouse. And I'm gonna talk about the shape. So the shape is, um, it's reasonably unique. I haven't used a mouse quite with this shape, but it's very much like an ambi mouse with this, uh, but with a side, with a right side flare for your pinky. So um, I guess a little bit like, a little bit like, uh, like the NP01 sort of deal. And, um, but it's not, it still is, is pretty ergo. Like you'll notice that it's ergo immediately. It's got a very gradual right side, um, right slope. And I, I actually like this shape a, a lot. Um, my one complaint with it is I feel like this this left side could have been a little bit less aggressive, or at least not less aggressive, just I feel like this left side could have been a little bit narrower. Or the flare, this rear flare could have started out further back. Because when I put my thumb there, it's a little bit awkward. Because it doesn't feel like my, my hand has, you know, a natural resting spot for the thumb. Uh, because like from from if you look at the shape it seems like they want your thumb to go here and really i have i have hands that i feel like are meant for this mouse i have 19 by 10 centimeter hands and the only way i get my thumb to sit in that groove is if i tilt the mouse to a, a pretty ridiculous degree um in my hand as you guys see I, I don't grip my mouse like that i grip it like this um so that the sensor is you know parallel with my forearm but i mean you can totally grip it like this i guess like sideways um and maybe that's what Cooler Master was going after, but uh, yeah, that's my only criticism of the shape. I think the shape is very good. Um, with that out of the way, I'm going to tell you why you shouldn't buy this mouse, why you shouldn't consider it at all right now, until until Cooler Master fixes it. So uh, I'm sure several of you guys might have noticed on Reddit um, some of the posts about people complaining about the input latency, input delay with this mouse in wired and wireless mode. Uh, maybe not in wired mode, but in wireless mode, there is an absolute fuck ton of input delay. 
I have a couple mouse tester plots on my PC that I've done, comparing it to the S2, and um, there is easily like 20 milliseconds of input delay on the MM731 in wireless mode. Why that's the case is I have no idea, and that's on the latest firmware as well. So as of September 19th, 2021, this mouse is unusable in wireless mode. It's It feels like it feels very rubber bandy um, when you do any sort of Kovacs scenario, it, it's not playable. Um, in wired mode, the mouse is usable. I, I'll actually admit that I didn't really notice that much input latency, um, and but there's actually even input latency in wired mode. And I tested it against the S2, and um, even when I moved the M731 first, uh, there was still like a three millisecond differential between the S2 and the M731. So the amount of latency that this sensor has in wired mode is probably around five milliseconds, which is unacceptable, absolutely unacceptable for a, a modern modern mouse. Um, with that being said, I aimed I aimed okay with this mouse. You know, like five milliseconds of input lag is not the worst deal, but um, you're paying ninety dollars for a wireless mouse, not a wired mouse, and I think that's unacceptable by Cooler Master, and it's really unfortunate that. A mouse with, you know, a good shape, decent build quality, good weight, um, and no holes at all should be released with such a defective sensor. So, yeah, there's not really much else to say about it, and I'm not really going to do a shape comparison. I, I might in the future, but um, until this mouse is fixed, I just don't buy it. So, yeah, that's the review. Um, if you enjoyed the video, have any questions, comments, please leave a like and subscribe.